Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to another random horror games video. I'll link all the previous videos in a playlist in the description if you want to check them out. We're starting off the video with a game called Jill. Alex, I'm here. Oh, that's right. She already left. She already left? So we're just going to wander into her empty apartment? How did we even get in? All right. Let's check it out. So there is something in the lower right corner that says for educational use only. There it is. Now you can see it. I think that means that this game isn't meant to be sold. I think you can still make Let's Plays of it. I hope so anyway. Random VHS just sitting out on the kitchen table. I believe it was part of a student project. So maybe that's why. Okay. Go. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, thanks for agreeing to watch my condo while I'm away on the business trip. Uh, it's really helpful that you'd come to water my plants for me. They get really thirsty, you know? Um, listen, I, uh, I know you haven't been getting out a lot since, um, Jill's disappearance. So I think, I think this is going to be really good for you. Uh, my house is your house. Use whatever you want. Watch the TV. Chill in my bed. Whatever you need. It's, it's Chill in your yours. bed? Uh, don't mind the locked door. Um, this will be good for you. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you when I get back. So, I'll see you soon, and I hope you have a good time. Love ya. Bye. You hope I have a good time in your empty apartment? What is there to do here besides chill in your bed? <laughs> okay, let's watch another VHS. Um, one sec. Ready, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, we're rolling. Oh my oh, god, close. nerds playing sports. Uh oh. oh whoa, whoa, They're wait, standing wait, wait, like wait, wait. five feet uh, away from each other playing catch. Oh, thanks, Alex. Okay. Ready? Dad, think fast. <laughs> <laughs> playing <laughs> football. So is that Jill? Focus on your kid. Really? Tony. What's with this shady ass dude? Yeah, whatever. Alex, stop going. Dude, whatever. I'm going home. All right. Somebody's suspicious in the background. Maybe it's the guy leaning against the tree, <laughs> not showing his face. Uh, okay. There's another. Wow. They just have VHSs all over the place. I guess I meant to watch all of them and watch the story unfold. Smile for the camera, birthday girl. What? Dad, why are you recording me? Dad. Well, I know you have a party later, but you know, I thought we could do something of a family affair. What's going on? What? What's, on? What's Aunt Alex doing? What do you mean? Well, you Aunt mean? Alex. I don't <gasps> like that. Happy birthday to you. So, happy birthday that's to his sister. Happy birthday, dear Jill. She's turning two years happy old. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right. Now, do we have a knife somewhere? Do we have a knife somewhere? Thanks. Is that the knife that was used to kill her? Because she disappeared, Wait, can right? I, uh, can I get in the shot? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me take it. Oh, thanks, Alex. Here, let me... okay. Okay. Hello, father. That's my same oh, age. Oh, right. Sorry. This guy! What's with this dude? Hey! His shirt says, hey, don't be an birthday. asshole. I think it's too late, buddy. Get this cake. What's he so pissed off about? All right. Oh yeah, just casually drinking a shot, huh? <laughs> He's sipping a shot. Well, thanks for the surprise, Dad. Of course, anything that you want. Now, who wants cake? <laughs> Let's eat cake. Let's eat cake. All right. <laughs> Listen, the acting's not the best in the videos, but I'm pretty sure it's just the developers who are doing a student project, so don't be too hard on them, okay, guys? All right, let's watch the next video. See if we can piece together what's happening. So far, my theory is the suspicious man that keeps glaring at the camera. Hey, 
But maybe he's too suspicious. Tony, what are you doing here? Why are you following me? I know what you're up to. I know your type. You don't know my type. What Mark and I have, it's none of your business. You need to stop. Mark's not here right now. His kid's up there. What are you doing? What are you doing to his kid? Your paranoia is getting through the roof and we can't deal with this anymore, okay? Your obsession I'm is leaving. crazy. What? What are you doing to his kid? Did she poison the cake? She poisoned the cake. It's Alex. The girl. Wait, but she was Aunt Alex. So I guess she's not the guy's sister. Hmm. Oh, this one had a highlight from the light above. Oh, this one must be important. Let's check it out. Guys, what happened to Jill? There we go. I haven't even been paying attention to the dates, sadly. Is she playing an indie horror game right now? All the doors are locked on either side. You just, just sprint all the way to the end and take the last door. There might be a jump scare behind it. What's going on out there? I thought I heard something. That door doesn't have a number on it. Oh, no, no it does. Sorry. Jump the gun there. Oh, oh, hi, Alex. What's up? Jill, I am so sorry. What's wrong? There's been an accident. Your father's in the hospital. I'm here to take you to him. Is he okay? We have to go. Was I in the hospital? I wish I had more context for this story. Because if I knew more, I could be like, wait, I wasn't in the hospital, though. Did Alex kidnap Jill? Hmm. Ah, yes. The square toilet. <laughs> the perfect shape for one's buttocks. Let's go ahead and put this in the uh, VCR. See what happens next. Now don't say my name. And do as we rehearse. Dear Alex, I Say can tell. To your father. <laughs> you can tell. Dad, it's me, Jill. <laughs> tell him where you are. They, they have me in a dark place. I mean, I don't really know where I am. It's, it's really hard to. But you gotta help me, like, please. This isn't on the script. I'm sorry, I. Just, why, why Alex is getting me? angry. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Never mind. This isn't gonna work. I mean... <laughs> what was that? Excuse you? Alex, you videotaped yourself coming to her door and kidnapping her. Why the voice changer? We already know it's you. Don't try to hide it. What was that? Sound, something open. <gasps> the secret room. <gasps> Is this the last one? Wow. What a great bedroom. I would love to live here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's put this in. Is this the final one? <laughs> sorry, sorry. You look like you just did a bunch of drugs with her. <laughs> Had a wild party. Now you got a hangover. It was her! She's a lot quieter when I give her these. So you did, you did give her a lot of drugs then. I don't know why he still doesn't love me. I was there for him. I was there for her. Took her away. Even when I'm all he has left, it's still not enough. Alex, I'm here. Oh. Oh, that's right. Wait. I heard the opening line of the game just now. Was this just recorded? Seems daddy's home. <laughs> oh. 
Where did you go? I just went in there. I have nothing for him anymore. I mean, she's already... Oh, oh no, she's gonna start struggling. So where are you? Because I just went back there and you weren't there. And neither was she. <gasps> Won't you come find me, Mark? Look for Alex. Leave the apartment. Look for Alex. <coughs> what? What? Did I just die? Excuse me? <laughs> There's multiple endings. Let's find them all. All right. all right. This time we're gonna leave the apartment. The game just closes. Aww. Okay. Well, that was Jill. Here are the four people involved with making it. Or there they were. They only show up for a second. Um, it was entertaining for what it was. I think it's a student project. It says for educational use only, but it doesn't say anything about it being a student project on the uh, itch.io page. So. Taking that into potential consideration, uh, you know, it was interesting. It reminded me a lot of the game Creeper, which I played in a previous Random Horror Games video. It was that one where you had to edit the clips together in the timeline to make a full video. If you render the video in the wrong order four times, he will find you. How? Does he have some sort of detector, like bad video editor, <laughs> zeroing in on their location? Kind of predictable story, but... You know, it was a short game, you know. What are they gonna do, blow your mind Silent Hill 2 style in 10 minutes? I don't think so. I wish there was more to it than just collecting the videotapes and watching them, but it's just intended to be kind of a short story with a, like a creepy element to it, so. I think the game could be a lot more interesting if there was at least a short segment at the end where if you look for Alex, you have to escape from the apartment or there's some sort of enemy AI, but I, I understand if that was kind of outside the scope of the project. They made what they want to make. They didn't really want to go that route with it. So anyway, yeah, that was Jill. Free game. You know, not much to say about it, but let's move on to the next one. I brought the claps back so you know when the new game is starting. This one is called Filth Breed, and it's currently the highest rated new horror game on itch.io, so we're going to give it a shot. Let's go ahead and play. There was a roach on the menu. Talk about filthy. <laughs> Welcome to Filthbury. Would you like to read the tutorial? Yeah. I'd like to know what I'm getting into. Click to advance the slideshow narration. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to summarize the tutorial. So basically, this is a first-person shooter, but if you have your gun out, you can't interact with objects. So it's also got item interactability. Homeless shelters all across the state have reported the disappearance of several people in the past few months. Investigators are pointing to Michigan truck driver Louis Burton as a prime suspect. Having a well-documented track record of smuggling cocaine across the border, he too is nowhere to be found. His former partner has confirmed Burton's involvement in the case, but remains adamant that he's not absconding. Wow, these are $2 words here. According to his testimony, Burton's been recruited by a local cult and held captive in an unknown location. Okay, so? Let them have them. Who cares? Let them rot. While these claims have yet to be verified, a transport truck matching that of the suspect has been located next to a warehouse in the outskirts of Detroit. Higher-ups remain skeptical, but you've been tasked to search the area for any evidence pertaining to the case. Let's do it. Not sponsored, just like Red Bull. All right. Exit. You turn back straight away and tell your superior you found nothing. <laughs> your quick return and short report raises some eyebrows in the office. But nobody was buying that cult nonsense anyway. You feel like an absolute coward and quit the force shortly afterward. <laughs> the trail goes cold and the case is eventually archived. Oh, bad ending. Ultimate wuss? I got ending one ultimate wuss. And then the game just closed. How dare you? I just wanted to see what would happen. I love games like Pamali and these type of games where you can just leave. And you get an ending. It's so fun. All right. We're back in. 
time to check this warehouse out. Doesn't really look like a warehouse, I gotta say. They got gas cans everywhere. And cow skulls. And they leave notes in obvious places. You were right, Sally. We should have never trusted these crazy fucks. They keep us all down here in the dark, trapped like cattle. We're just animals to them. Some of us are even starting to act the part. There's this Lucas guy who walks on all fours and bites you while you're sleeping. I miss you, Sally. I miss the gang back home. I miss fucking Brightmoor. I hear them chanting again. It is time. I guess they're about to be sacrificed. Oh, they got a fan because it gets kind of warm in here. <laughs> oh. They're not really living it up, are they? But we found a gun. You found an old Glock. Scroll up to equip it. What? Oh, excuse me? What the hell did you think you were doing? Just what was your plan? I just picked up the gun. You should have ambushed me before I got it. All right. Took the gun right out of his pocket and the idiot didn't even flinch. If only I'd had the balls to do it before, but it's too late for me now. Whoever's reading this, I pray you can make better use of it. Just don't bother aiming for the head. Oh, I, I did that though. I've seen those freaks last well over a week without it. What, really? Okay, well it's dead. I shot it twice in the head and once in the body and it went down. But apparently, apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. Filth breed. I like the name, filth breed. I mean, is it talking about cockroaches? Cause that would make sense. What? Oh, duty ammunition. Bullseye! You found an extra ammo magazine. That's a great brand name. Bullseye! Does it make your aim better? What happens if I shoot the gasoline can? Nothing. Okay. I just wanted to check. Let's go this way. Dude, you just go for the head. That's all good. I hear a lot of noise over that way. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? Clever little buggers, pulling out my teeth, laying eggs under my tongue so I can't chew and spit. I thought it was a rap at first because mouth rhymes with out, sort of, but it doesn't really work. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? I can't take it. <laughs> it kind of works. Just the middle verse needs some, uh, some work. So they're wondering if the roaches are coming in to their mouth while they sleep or what was that? There's like somebody's knocking on that door. What's going on? Let's go in here first. Whoa! What is what the hell is this? Nope. Okay. So shooting the gas cans doesn't do anything. Just to clarify. Does that need a key? Should I open this? Let's read the note first. What time is it? What day is it? It all just blends together after a while. I can't even tell dreams from reality anymore. No matter if I open or close my eyes, if only this pitch black shroud around me. Oh, it's it's only this pitch black shroud around me. What's worse is the things I do here. I wish I didn't. There's crawling hands and feet all over the ceiling and they can't all be mine. But they can't be all mine. That makes less sense. Okay, so someone's losing their shit. Can I open this? Burr, burr. It's kind of a beat. Yeah, you could you could totally rap over this. I don't know why I'm obsessed with rapping right now. So what, I just walk in here. <laughs> Oh, 
Reload. I can't believe that note was like, don't aim for the head. Don't even think about it, dude. It's not worth it. Uh, yeah, it is. They go down without much of a fight. Okay, did this guy... Did you come out of here? What the hell? What's happening here? It bleeds. But I'm guessing I don't just continue shooting it. Okay, so one of them came from that way. The other one came from in here. But I don't... Oh! Oh, you just go this way. Let's go. Let's go! Looks like some kind of sacred book. What language is that? I don't know, dude. I'm not a language expert. There's light outside. It's just, just a window. Okay, let's pick this up. I'm gonna go into the corner though in case somebody decides to invite themselves in. Thus spoke the slumbering prophet Gorgorin. It took a sick god to imagine a world this filthy. It took a vile god to shape a world this cruel. It takes a world this filthy to shelter us all in its putrid bosom. It takes a world this cruel to nurture us all into an existence of agony. We are but mold on the rotting apple. We are but the shadows of a madman's dance in the fire. Man is not doomed, but destined to ruin. Man is not to purge, but to fester the world. Witch innards reveal the path. Bring forth the life's mother! Wow, this person sounds super evil. We should go kill them. You want to bring forth the life's mother? Oh, the super evil man has a soda machine in his secret complex. <laughs> Does it still work? I want a filthy soda. Uh, let's see. What are they most likely to drink here? Mountain Dew? Like 100% Mountain Dew? Yeah. Oh. What a nice, nice portrait. Bring forth the lice, mother. Oh. Ew! That is gross. Okay. Jesus. No doubt. This is the guy. His gut is burst open and full of maggots. But the body shows no signs of rotting yet. Were they nesting inside of him? Gross. Why do they have to nest right there? That's all I'm asking. Why does it have to be... Those are big old roaches. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shoot them or not. So I'll just leave them for now. There's a lot of them. Damn, these are like the size of my torso! So if you shoot the eggs, not really anything happens. Pull the shutter. I've only got one bullet left. Wait, are we back? We're back. Oh, it's blocked off. I mean, I found the guy. Do I just leave now? The exit's right here. Okay, design-wise, <laughs> hate to think this way, it brought me back to the exit. Seems to imply that I'm supposed to leave now. You block the old iron door and take a moment to bask in the sun out of the reach of those creatures. Back at the station, you debrief your superior on everything you found. You don't even bother trying not to sound crazy. After a moment of awkward silence, he finally congratulates you for good, the good work. He then suggests you take a couple day break. You go home and try your best to get some sleep. Come morning, you wake up to the news of a fire at the warehouse. The place went up in flames well before a team could be dispatched to check on your findings. It's all gone. Twelve bodies have been recovered so far, but police are hesitant to identify them as humans. They're hard and hollow, like man's shape. Uh, man-shaped chitin shells? I believe that's... Is it chitin? It's not chitin. I know that. I got ending three. Pest control.
What, there are more endings? What other endings can you get? All right, this time, I'm gonna see what happens if I just kill this thing and then leave. Okay, so let's say I just leave now. Will I get ending two? Cause I'm missing that one. I assume ending three is like the true ending. You make the sensible decision to turn back. Whatever's going on there, it's not normal. You're not prepared for this kind of situation. The guys at the station have a field day with your report. You're not the first rookie to lose their temper under pressure. The veterans will handle this one. Three officers enter the warehouse. Only one of them makes it back. Right leg maimed and infested with larva. She's in a state of shock and can barely muster the words to explain what happened in there. She gasps something about feeding mom before collapsing. You know it's not your fault, but still feel responsible for it. You are granted a two week break from the force and never return. The case didn't make the news. You move on with your life and try to forget everything, but years later you still have dreams about it. Ending two, tactical retreat. That's cool, man. I liked this one. Filth breed. So I assume that that's it, all three endings. I can't imagine there being a fourth one unless there's some sort of secret thing I didn't discover. Uh, but this was a pretty cool game. Um, the credits here, it was developed by one person. I believe uh, they made everything themselves except for some of these things. So yeah, I mean, it's got action. It's got a kind of a creepy story. It's got some Silent Hill vibes and it's all in a free game made by one person with uh, multiple endings. Really cool little free horror experience. I liked it. And like I said, I, I like saying the name. Filth breed. Okay, well, I doubt the next game is going to be as good as this one, but we'll charge on anyway. Next game. All right, this is the demo for a game called Dim that I also found on Itch.io. Before I started the game, it said it was a completely sound-based experience, and for me to turn my sound up as loud as I can tolerate. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my sound up, I guess. All right, I usually play games at volume 36 out of 100, and I just turned this one up to 60, so that's as loud as I'm gonna go. This is a playable demo for an upcoming horror game. The demo takes place in a small part of a house where he plays an unnamed protagonist with a very specific backstory that makes him know what is going on. Well, him, not you. Explore the house, look for clues, and experience this small 10 to 15 minutes playable demo. Okay, so we got a knife. We're not gonna pick it up, I guess. The ball. <laughs> you mean, you mean that one? The soccer ball, I guess? I should probably find that cross first. Find what cross? Oh, this cross? Oh God, please. There's a door here, but it looks weak. Maybe I, should, maybe I could push through it. You weak ass door, get out of my way. Push through it. Press F to toggle your flashlight, there we go. What? Do I go get him? With the cross? There's that ball. Maybe the water is behind this door. I should find a way in. The water? So, it said 10 people went missing. They haven't been found. You can play with me if you want to at the end. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Where it belongs. What? The ball? Is that what you're talking about? I see, it, but it was there when I left. Hi, I moved to the other side so you could see the cross a little better. There's a radio here. I guess that's where I was hearing all that noise. There's some disgusting carpet. So wait, is the ball gone? The ball's gone. So what, I go get the ball and put it back? Oh, the ball's back here. The ball. Okay, do I, do I just kick it into the corner? Where it's supposed to go? 
Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Oh my god. Go in. Okay, I can't- I can't push it in anymore. That's just where it's gonna be. Sorry. So what's going on back here? Oh, it's open now. Okay. Hi! Got a poofer there! She just poofed! No water here. Why are we looking for water? Great! Generator went down. Oh, flashlight. Hmm. I see. A new note. You're not going anywhere. You know that, right? Get rid of that stupid cross. Don't make me angry. Ah! Hi! <laughs> Turn on your flashlight. Okay, well that was the demo for Dim. I think a demo should probably have a bit more coherence to it. It was just a glimpse of our final product. You can support by donating and sharing the game with your friends. Okay, well... I think... Uh, there was some... There were some interesting moments in the demo. I liked some of the atmosphere and some of the... Like the part with the painting where it changed to a face, that was kind of cool. It's just, I didn't really understand why we're looking for water. I think it would have been better for the demo to start off in a more neutral place than it would seem in the middle of the story. I know it said in the note at the beginning that you know, it was basically from what they intend to be the final game. But I didn't really get it, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> also, the jump scare at the end... I'm not saying it was bad, but... It was kind of silly, and it kind of undermines the rest of the experience. I'm a fan of jump scares when they work. When they pay off tension, right? But. I, I don't think that that one really paid off the atmosphere that was building up to that point. Just seeing a face kind of vibrate in your face doesn't really work for me. But that's more of like a tactical criticism than anything else. I'm sure they could work on that for the final game. If it ever comes out, like I said, I play tons of these horror demos for, for games that never actually come out. So, I... I I think if you're gonna make a horror demo, here's what I would say. It needs to showcase something unique about the game. This one didn't really do that. It needs to act as a standalone experience, which this one also did not do. And it has to, it has to get you excited somehow. Like for example, uh, the demo for the game Madison. It showcased like a unique part of the game, right? With the camera and everything. It acted like uh, a standalone experience, and it kind of left me excited for more. It didn't show its hand too much. And I think that that's the proper way to do a horror demo. Just not really a fan of how this one did it. But anyway, on to the next game. What? I'll call later. That clap was late. Hey everybody, this is a game called, um... Oh, was it called? Penumbra. And this was a submission for the Finally Finish Something Jam. So it is a game jam game, and the concept of the jam is to finally finish something that you've been working on for a while, or an, a game idea that you've had in the back of your head and just have never sat down to do, so... We're gonna check it out. So far, the game is called Penumbra, and we start off in this environment, strikingly similar to another game called Penumbra Overture. Heading into the caves. Let's check this out, though. Okay. So when you put light on something, it creates a shadow. That's what that teaches us. Also learned that in elementary school. Okay. Why are we doing this? Hey, it's just like what we saw 
in the drawing. Um, I picked up a coin, but I'm not sure what it does. It sounds like there's... What? Oh, there's a new... There's a note. Oh, it's telling you what to do in the notes. Oh! We stood in the penumbra! <laughs> okay, so in this one, we want to go around the pillar clockwise. And it creates a staircase, okay. Where are we going? Go around the balcony twice. Again, clockwise, okay. I'm cool with doing that. Do it twice? Am I going around it again? What? Well, this is actually pretty cool. I got another coin. Have I missed some? Was I supposed to find some earlier? This floating fire here. Okay, that kind of ruined an otherwise increasingly cool experience. What? What what am I doing? Just walking through the forest with a bunch of Hey, it's a uh, Tori. Designed to ward off evil spirits. What? This is kind of a surreal experience so far. So these are tiny little villages here. I got another two coins. Where are we going? Should we go to the left or right? That's to the left, this is to the right. What does it say here? Is that braille? No. Fire? Uh, I'll take the three coins, I guess. This reminds me of that one level in Little Nightmares. Where you try not to get eaten. Wait, hang on. Wait, how did I get here? I was just going... Wait, wait, hang on. I think we are doing the opposite of the notes, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just shifting. The people are talking backwards, maybe that's a clue. Don't shush me! <laughs> ah! Okay. What? 
What? It's a map of the maze. Okay, so I want to stand under these things so it doesn't kill me, I think. Well, that's the only place I'm safe. Maybe? Because it's, it, it's going overhead, right? Oh my god, okay. Yeah. That's where we're trying to get to. Which I don't know if I can, let's see. I think I can get to it. Uh, maybe this way? Go that way. Okay. Oh god. I think that was kind of close for me. We're really close to the exit. Oh no! We're not! It's over here! But I think I'm- I think I'm going the right direction. Okay. It's over here. I think I'm, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. Good, good, good. Here we go, this is it. Go, go, go! An obelisk. We're back in the snowy part. What's the note gonna say? Counterclockwise. And we're back at the start. That was really cool! I haven't played any of the other games in the Finally Finish Something Game Jam, but I think that deserves to win. Just saying, that was great. Yeah. It was neat. Kind of unexpected stuff happening. I didn't expect for there to be like a maze. That spider part kind of took me off guard. There's this sort of surreal element to it. Where you didn't really know what was going to happen. And I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that about it. Cool. Okay, so Penumbra. I would say the biggest criticism I have of it is that it is the same title as Frictional Games' outstanding uh, trilogy of Penumbra games. Penumbra Overture, Penumbra Black Plague, and I guess Penumbra Requiem, which I never played, but... Other than ruining their search engine optimization, that's not really much of a criticism. That was pretty neat. As far as the winner of this edition of Random Horror Games, I'm... I don't know, I'd, I'd like to say Filth Breed was my favorite of the set, but this was pretty cool too, in a very different way. I wonder what the coins were for. They weren't for anything, I just picked them up. Huh. Maybe there's more to this game? I'm just not sure. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. First we played Jill, which was an interesting though simple game and then we played filth breed which was pretty cool we played um the dim demo which i was kind of lukewarm on and then penumbra which i enjoyed unexpectedly so let me know what you guys thought about these four games in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video think critically <laughs>